Hey guys, High School Mac here with a custom ROM review. Today's ROM review is for probably the biggest Android ROM, CyanogenMod 7. Now, this version of CyanogenMod 7 is running on my HTC Thunderbolt. It's the newest CyanogenMod 7 release for my phone, which is Release Candidate 1.8. Now, just a little bit of background on CyanogenMod 7. It's an AOSP um, custom ROM based off the most recent gingerbread 2.3.5 now CyanogenMod 7 is the most widely used ROM and it is used on more rooted Android phones than any other ROM out there basically the reason for this is CyanogenMod 7 is the base for most all other AOSP ROMs so more than likely if you're running an AOSP ROM on your rooted Android device it's probably based off of CyanogenMod 7 there are a few other ROMs out there that's uh, built from the ground up, but most of them are based off of CyanogenMod 7. So, now we're going to get to some of the best features about this ROM. Number one being, it's running the newest version of Gingerbread, which is 2.3.5. I'll just show you guys that quick. And Android 2.3.5. Okay. Um... The next thing about this ROM is it's very fast and it's very stable. It's just an all-around really fast ROM when you're using it and there's really no lag. If there appears to be lag, it's from my screen recording software. Um, the next thing that I like about this ROM so much is that the data is really stable. That's a little more um, specific to my phone because uh, the HTC Thunderbolt is a LTE phone and there has been a lot of data problems with it and when I'm running CyanogenMod 7 I have basically the most stable data out of any other ROMs I've ran. Um, also you see that CyanogenMod 7 is very themed. There's tons of customizations for it you can do um, through the theme engine or through flashable zips and all um, I'll uh, post a link to um, a web page where you can get a bunch of um, themes. Next, I'm going to show you some of CyanogenMod 7's built-in tweaks. So it's just in settings and right here, CyanogenMod settings. So some of the nicest ones are that I use the most are under interface and it'd be notification power widgets. You can see them up here, it's in the status bar. I have those customized. And you can just um, customize them, whichever ones you want, and there's other options for that here. And you may be thinking, oh, I've seen these settings on other AOSP ROMs, and that's more than likely because they're based off of CyanogenMod 7. And so some of these other tweaks we see here that I use a lot are the lock screen tweaks, because I like to have my lock screen customized. And right now I'm running the newer lock screen which is the ring one and here I'll show you that right now so as you can see it's this new ring bubble one and just no leg at all it's really fast and that's really nice so now that we're in here again back to settings oh, my bad. and then of course you have your performance tweaks and you have one specific to your memory and CPU and your CPU settings which is overclocking and this right now is running on my phone the built-in kernel uh, that Slayer has released in his version and I get my best battery life on his kernel and right now I have it overclocked just to have it running a little bit faster with the screen recording software and as you can see just all your options for that and it's nice because then you're not using something like set CPU to be running in the background it's just running with your built-in settings which is nice my final overall opinion of CyanogenMod 7 is that it's a very fast stable and appealing ROM and I suggest all of you go and try it whether you have a Thunderbolt like me or another Android device it's a great ROM and as always rate comment like and subscribe see you guys